What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I'm going to be showing y'all... Oh, oh, what the... Oh, son of a biscuit. Come here, you. Anyways, in this video I'm going to be showing y'all something that you might have missed in the game. And that is the time machine that we can find over at Pylon V13. There's also a holotape that goes with this time machine over a mad scientist talking about time travel. Thought this would be something interesting for y'all and maybe something new for some of you that missed this. So yeah, let's go ahead and head on over to Pylon V13. I will admit it is hard to introduce players to something new in the game because the game's been out for a while now, which on that note, if you have something interesting you'd like me to share with the community, feel free to jot it down below in the comments. The suggestions are highly appreciated because I'll be real, I don't really have that many ideas at the moment for uh, making content over this game. So suggestions over some things would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, as you can see, here's the location. There will be some enemies uh, around this area. Some pretty deadly ones, in fact. As you can see, there's a few anglers over here. And, not to mention, I don't know if y'all have been over here or not, but there are a group of super mutants and a behemoth over in this area. Oh gosh! Alright. Almost got it down. Oh man. Back up! Wow. One hit away and it got me. <laughs> Mysterious stranger killed it. Well, but yeah, I figured I'd just show you real quick that a behemoth does spawn around here. It's actually a pretty good area to get some XP. Anyways, now let's head on up to this time machine. Oh, look at that. This time traveler had a mailbox. Man, it'd be so cool if we could actually put a mailbox in our camp and send mail to like our friends and players in game that'd be insane whoops like send things in the mail we're getting up here to the top and as you can see we're up here now there's plenty of random stuff around that you can loot. But I'm not going to be covering everything that you can loot. There's also, as you can see, it looks like a few dead scientists right here. These must have been some of the people that were doing the experiment here to make the time machine. Um, there's also, most importantly, a hollow tape that we can loot. But that's on the other side of the train, as well as the time machine, too. I was just showing you what's on this end. But yeah, if we just head on over to the other side up here, as you can see, we can find, first off, a generator that's up here, and another dead scientist. And most importantly, here is the holotape that I want to play for y'all before I activate the time machine, because this gives a little bit of a backstory over what happened up here. As you can see, it's called Professor Greebly's Press Release. Listen into this, guys. People told me my theories weren't possible. They mocked me and called me a foolish old man. Well, I'm here to tell you that the possibility of time travel is not only real, but that it can be accomplished interdimensionally. I've revolutionized this radical concept, a new way of thinking about skipping across timelines. Instead of employing the traditional and often clumsy use of gravity for time travel, I've discovered a way to punch a hole in the fabric of our reality. By slipping through this fissure in time and space at a high rate of speed, it's my belief <clears throat> instantaneous time travel will occur. In a few weeks, I will be attempting to slipstream through dimensions using a monorail system as my chariot. If you wish to attend this historic event, I will be at Pylon V-13 of the Appalachian monorail system. Be there and witness history. So yeah, this guy, as you heard, built a time machine. And he was so confident in this time machine working that he invited people around to come witness it. Now, whether or not Professor Greebly is officially a time traveler, I'm not too sure. It would be an interesting add-on 
for Fallout 76 in the future to like meet Professor Greebly or something. Then again, this could be his corpse or one of the uh, dead scientists that were back there. I'm not too sure. I mean, we don't really have confirmation on that, but something that we can assume. Anyways, we can actually activate this time machine by pressing this button right here. I guess he hooked up this train somehow to help give energy to this time machine. And as you can see, there's a bunch of like metal scrap circling around the monorail here. I mean, man, just think about how determined this guy was to make this. You can also see like the conduits on it as well. They're not connected to anything, but you can see them. They might have been connected to something in the past. Not sure. But yeah, this guy and his team was definitely determined if he had a team. It seemed like he did with the other scientists that we see around. Like, just imagine being on this thing and, and having to bolt these in. Shoo wee. That'd be nerve wracking while you're up this high. But yeah, here's what happens when you go to activate the time machine now. Check this out. Yeah, it just basically short circuits and nothing interesting happens. Electricity bolt off the emitters from every direction. It's like a death trap right here. As you can see, we just activated those that are around it. The Tesla arcs. They're about to blow up soon. This one is unlimited. Like, this one never blows up. Like, I'll even try to shoot it and it still won't. Check this out. Yeah. There's no destroying this one. It just stays active. And I will mention, it does look really cool seeing all the electricity go off at night. Let me go ahead and come back here at night. Alright, so I'm back here. Check this out when you activate it at night in full effect. pretty cool but yeah I guess I'll start wrapping up this video everyone hopefully this was something new to you and you found this enjoyable oh my gosh I just fell off but yeah thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace